Okay, now I want to talk about craft inequality. Um, recall the subject of this chapter is compression of a data source or random variable X, which describe the uh, experiments, uh, a random experiment. Uh, a compression, uh, the compression of an information source is accomplished with a code. I mean, it is realized with a code. A prefix code is efficient, meaning its description length is free of space symbols and free from unnecessary use of valuable resource. Uh, so uh, the craft inequality uh, is, uh, uh, gives, you, gives you a fundamental bound on the length of a prefix code. So prefix uh, code is efficient code and uh, we want to investigate the fundamental bound for it. It involves the size of the alphabet D. So D could be binary or ternary, quaternary, uh, quat, uh, quaternary and so on. The collection of a code word length of any prefix code must satisfy this inequality. We can do the converse as well. The converse means that if a collection of code word lengths satisfies the craft inequality, then uh, there exists a prefix code with a such a length collection. So basically, if code word lengths satisfy the inequality, we can find a prefix code with a such length. So here is the theorem. For any instantaneous code over a theory alphabet, the collection of code word lengths, L1, L2, Lm, M is the number of total number of code words, must satisfy the inequality. So it has M appears here. Uh, D is the uh, theory uh, size of the theory alphabet. And Li are these given uh, length. So given this length collection, we can investigate if the craft inequality is uh, satisfied for certain D. Then we can uh, make sure that, I mean, we, we know that um, with a such a length, we can find a theory uh, code words uh, for prefix code. So we can find a prefix code, which is theory strings. A theory string code word made of theory, uh, theory strings code words. Okay, so let's take a look at the binary case when D is equal to two, but the, we can do uh, D is equal to three as well. So this is the special case where D is equal to two. So we draw a binary uh, tree like this. Okay, so uh, starting from the origin, we have the first uh, element to be zero, we go up. When it is one, we go down. Okay, so since it is a binary, it is either up or down, up or down, up or down. Okay, and uh, here we uh, mark the node, three node to be black if it is a code word. So in this particular case, one is a code word. Ah, sorry, zero is a code word. Zero is a code word. And uh, one zero is also a code word. And uh, this white dot uh, could be selected as a code word, but we didn't select it. O only the black dot is the selected code word. So in this particular code, we have one, 
10111, which is this one, this one. So these three are these three are the uh, code words. So this has code word set 010111. And uh, uh, having selected the code word this way, uh, described in this picture, we make made sure that uh, none of the code word is a prefix to other code word. So for example of this first one, zero, code word zero, once I have selected this as a code word, I should not make any one of these other nodes appearing in the descendant of this node as a code word. So same goes right here for the second selection. So once I have selected this one, I should not select any of its dependent descendant, any of its children as a code word. And then uh, the final one uh, among these two, both of them could be selected as a code word, but I have selected only one of them. So if even if I have selected this as a black, so I I, I could have 010, This is a still a prefix code, but I haven't selected uh, 110 as a code word. Okay, so having uh, 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 described this uh, picture, the proof of craft inequality becomes easy. So at level, at the maximum level, so here uh, there are three levels. The length is a three. The maximum length of a code word is a three. So that is the maximum uh, uh, expansion. And then I count the number of nodes in this particular case, there are eight. And uh, I note that this is the number of node at the maximum depth of the tree that are dis displaced by selecting this as a code word. So is the descendant of this code word at the maximum depth, maximum depth. And uh, these are the de descendants of uh, this code word at the maximum depth, depth. And then uh, rest of them are either code word or unselected uh, word. Okay, so having said that, I can prove the craft inequality. All right, so the proof. We call the definition of a prefix code using the tree diagram, uh, which I have described right here. Any code word that has no children in the tree as another code word. And we let the maximum depth, L max, which is the maximum of these L uh, M numbers then each uh, 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 leaf at the L max depth of the tree. Uh, it should be leaf, okay. Each leaf, each node at the L max depth of the tree can be among the three, uh, following three cases. Uh, descendant of a code word, a code word of a length L max itself, or none of the two. Okay, expressing this with the notation given so far, we have this. So theory tree uh, L max, that is the total number of uh, leaves at the depth of L max. In the binary case, it was two to the power of three in this example. If it is a ternary, then it, it should be three to the power of three. 
So that's the total number of uh, nodes at the maximum depth uh, that can be divided into uh, mutually exclusive sets. Uh, first, uh, I mean, described by this right here. So it is L max minus L i. So i goes from one to n. So uh, that is uh, basically, in this case, it is two to the power of three minus one, which is what? So this, this number can be described by two to the power of maximum depth three, which is three minus one, where you have uh, length one uh, code word. So this is the length one code word. So this is two to the power of two. Now, what about this part? That is uh, two to the minus three minus two, which is the length of this code word. So it is two to the power of one. And then rest of them, uh, either code word or uh, no code word at the maximum depth. So length three code word, one no code word in this case, which is just a word. Okay, so these are all mutually exclusive uh, sets, and then we can talk about the size of each set that appears right here in the left, uh, right hand side. And then we collect all of them uh, using this summation. So that is upper bounded by the total number of uh, nodes at the maximum depth. And then dividing both sides by dl max, we have the craft inequality. So the proof is easy. And the converse to the craft inequality is that given a collection of code word lengths that satisfy this inequality, we can find an instantaneous code. Basically, you draw the tree and then you just select a code word uh, according to this uh, uh, decomposition that we have described. So once you've selected a code word, you should not select any one of the descendant as a code word. That's the only rule that you have to follow. Then you could have uh, many different code, which are prefix code. So here is an example. Consider a list of code word length, one, two, two, three. Okay, so is there a prefix code? Oh, hold on a sec, I need to clear up. Uh, for this uh, collection of lengths, is there a prefix code with uh, such lengths? So in here, m is equal to four, small m is equal to four. There are four code words, m is equal to four four code words, and uh, I need to find out the maximum. The L max is three. And then uh, we consider binary alphabet. So D is equal to two. And uh, uh, for each one, uh, two to the power of three minus one, uh, which is uh, one right here. So two to the power of two, which is four. Uh, max minus uh, the second one, which is uh, two. That is two to the power of one, which is two. Another one with length two. So I have to do this again. So two to the power of one, and which is two. And uh, length three, the two to the power of zero, which is one. And uh, we, if we add them all up, it is nine, which is larger than eight. So this does not uh, satisfy the craft inequality. In such a case, we cannot find a prefix code with a such length of set. All right. So uh, that's so. D is equal to two case, but um, is it possible uh, to find the prefix code 
if uh, I increase d to 3, so we can consider ternary code words. In this case, ternary code words, and uh, we repeat the procedure. So we just change the, the base from 2 to 3, and then do the same. One, two, two, three, the length. Uh, L max is three. So three minus one is two. Three minus two is one. Same here. And then zero. So we have nine, three, three, one. If we add them up, it is a 16, which is smaller than uh, three to the L max, which is three to the third power, which is 27. So 27. I mean, 16 is upper bounded, uh, I mean, smaller than 27. So we can expect a ternary prefix code exists. So uh, in order to find one such code, we can use a ternary tree. So ternary tree I have drawn right here. So 0, 1, 2. 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, and so on and so on. So, uh, so here I have um, uh, 27 nodes at the uh, maximum depth, which is 3. And I have selected uh, this as a code word, so I have placed a black dot right here. So that is a code word zero. And uh, I have selected this node as code word one zero, this node as a code word, so which is one one. And I have selected uh, this one as uh, length three code word, which is two to two. So uh, I have 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, uh, which has a length 1, 2, 2, 3, uh, 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 which is a prefix free code. So we, uh, I note that I could have selected other uh, combinations. For example, I could have uh, selected uh, uh, 0, and one zero, and uh, instead of this one, I could have selected this one, which is um, one two, and uh, instead of this one, I could have selected this one, which is two zero zero. So this is also a prefix free code, where we have four code word element. And uh, each code word is a, no, does not appear as a prefix to other code words. And in this particular example, I have used D is equal to three. All right, that's that example. I can do another example. And then in this case, I, I am using uh, binary case. So here, using D is equal to two, I draw a binary tree and uh, do this type of assignment uh, and make sure that this one satisfy the craft inequality. Uh, in this case, it is exactly equal to each other, left hand side and the right hand side. So I have equality right here. And then I have a code right here. So I, in this case, I have a six code word. First one, length one. Second one, length two. Rest of them, length fours. So that is a binary prefix code. All right, OK.